This video is brought to you by the crazy aquarium guy. I wanted more space for my goldfish. So this is the new look. I stole a lot of crypto green plants from the Yellow Labs aquarium. And I actually took out all the Aponogeton Bolivianus plants and fed them to my giant ramsor snakes. So nothing gets wasted, but they were going too well with them. Look at that beautiful calico. And yeah, so they were going too well. They took up too much space. And now I have four fancy goldfish in my almost 60 gallon cube and looks great. They look a lot happier having more swimming space. So I can, um, if you didn't watch my video, how it looked before, uh, check it out. It's going to be in the link on top. These crypto green plants, I should have shot the video immediately after I did it, but I waited. And the reason why I waited, I don't know, I was busy. So they have started to melt back a little. You can see that on the bigger ones in the background there. Uh, but the ones in front, not going to melt back because they were so closed in with the taller ones in the other aquarium. So it's like this with Cryptocorine. If you give them better lighting than they had before, they usually don't melt back. But if you give them less lighting, they will melt back. So, usually when you take them from a tank that's high light and to a tank that's more low lighted, they melt back. But these smaller ones were so close to the roots of the big ones, like I said, so they were in the shade. Because uh, my yellow lab tank, if you watch my channel and send, seen that tank, it's a lot of light on it. A lot less lights now, actually. I've been taking away all the fluorescent light tubes on that aquarium. So, as you can see, this, they're not going to melt a little bit more, the ones in the back, but they're doing fine and they're going to fill in pretty good. And none of them is going to grow too big to take up the swimming space from the goldfish. But we're also going to do something else in this video. We're going to feed them Dan the Oranda's Rapashi. And what is it called? Goldfish. Is it called? I don't remember. You know which food I mean. Dan Duranda and Rapashi worked together and came up with this new food. And I like it. It has insects in it and krill. And it's like a mixture of super green, uh, community plus and grub pie. So, and I had, have all of those already. But this Dandy Oranda mix also has some cinnamon and other things that's not in those foods. So it actually smells pretty good for <laughs> fish food. So I wanted to try it, but it's really smart. As far as I know, or at least the ones I can get, they only have the small jar of Rapache with the Dandy Oranda mixture. So I'm not going to buy it more because it's like three times the size of a bigger one. So it's a lot more expensive, obviously. But I wanted to try it. And the goldfish seems to like it. Goldfish aren't that picky. But with fancy goldfish, you want to be aware, aware not to give them carnivore pellets or something like that. Something cheap with an Oscar cichlid on it from Ikari or something. That's, that can easily give them uh, bloat. Or constipated. They can get constipated and they can actually die from that. So... That is one of the reasons why fancy goldfish are so much harder to keep than common goldfish. They're munching away. I like to feed smaller size when I feed Rapache as well. Instead of giving them one big huge block of food. They get these small pieces so they can easily eat it. 
I really like my goldfish. And if, if you've been watching my channel for a while and think, man, I also like goldfish. It seems like Zach is doing great, a great job with his goldfish. But I wish he had more. I wish that too. And I'm not going to say more than check out my next video and the video after that. Because I have some surprises going on. So I wanted to show you this scape and feed them the dandy randa food. Before I show you my latest thing. So this is actually another day. And I'm going to feed them river pasture food again. It was so much fun. So. I think this was before the other one. You can kind of see that on the Crypto Korean. They are in the melting period now here in this video. They look better <laughs> in the clip before. And how do I do it? Yeah, I mean, every five days, 90% water change. But sometimes I do even more. And yeah, you need to clean the filter often with goldfish. And you need a huge filter because otherwise you're going to clean it every other day. Otherwise, it can be easy. It's not hard to keep goldfish. It's just, if you have fancy goldfish, you need to give them the expensive food. Because usually the vegetarian uh, versions of foods and sinking versions of foods. You also want to give your goldfish sinking food, in my opinion. Um, they are more expensive but if you don't want to go nuts like I do and give them new black spectrum ultra red and rapashi than the Oranda you can give them Hikari cichlid XL sinking it's the big big bag the big green bag with yellow labs on it that's really good for goldfish as well so if you want to go with the cheaper option and the next Another option that's more cheap than New Life Spectrum Ultra Red is the New Life Spectrum Cichlid Formula because it's half the price of the Ultra Red, especially if you buy 500 grams at a time. And what else? Ikari Advanced. Advanced Ikari. The purple bag is really good as well. But I find the Rapash food do contaminate the water a lot mo more that your passion food now the Hikari advanced uh, contaminate the water a lot more than Rapashi and or new life spectrum that's why I like to pay a little more for new life spectrum and Rapashi because if you do Rapashi super green you can go ahead get away with 90 190% water change a week even so yeah, but I really like my goldfish and I want to keep more. So, that's the next thing on my channel. I want to do something about that. And I want to give too much away, but I have some plans. And it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned. So you don't miss it. Goldfish are... I don't know what it is, but they have so much personality. They're like a happy puppy. They're coming to greet you and beg for food. So much personality in fish. You really get, if you don't get fancy goldfish, it's because you haven't kept them. I think so, at least. Because if you keep them and you love to keep fish and then you keep fancy goldfish, yeah, it's something about it.